in my Washington area and picked up another load of apples and something great happened. I texted my buddy Jed, who just so happened to get off of work earlier that day and invited me over to his place and, and I got a shower and some dinner. It was absolutely fantastic. It couldn't, it's like the best night that I've had, even the best day that I've had in a long time. Regardless, like I, I woke up late and I was late to deliver my load, which was a total bummer in the morning. But then later on that day, it totally paid off and I don't even care about being late now. Now I'm on my way to Ontario, Oregon to meet up with another truck because this load that I have is the load that he needs to get him home for Thanksgiving so he can go see his family. I was on my way with this load back to Salt Lake City to take time off for me to go check out that RV and uh, probably be about, no, what's today is uh, Tuesday, I think, Monday or Tuesday. And I was planning on going back to work, I guess, on the weekend uh, after I checked out that RV. But I'm going to hand off this load to that guy, and he's going to go home. I'm going to take the load that he got, he has, and go and deliver it, and then uh, pick up another load out of Boardman, Oregon, which is right at the I-82, I-84 junction, just a little bit west, right along the uh, Columbia River. And then... Uh, then I'm going to take that to Ogden, Utah, and then from Ogden, I'll go back over to our yard and start my time off. Hopefully by that time, uh, Thanksgiving dinner and stuff, they, that stuff will be over with, and uh, the guy with the RV uh, will be available to come uh, show it to me. The, uh, the inspector guy will be available to go and inspect it, and I'll be able to get that stuff taken care of, maybe even over the weekend. We'll see how that turns out. But right now I'm on my way to, uh, to Ontario, I'm on I-84 westbound, mile marker 310, uh, climbing up over these, these hills here, I'm going to come through a canyon, and then uh, right over to the uh, Snake River, right at the Idaho-Oregon border, stop at the Pilot Travel Center, that truck, uh, the other guy, the other truck's already got a parking spot saved for me. So I don't got to worry about parking. We're just going to exchange trailers and then I'll shut down there uh, or grab the load and, and turn around and head right back this direction and try to get back to, uh, to Boardman. But I don't think I have enough time uh, today on my drive time to get there. So so I'll just, I'll just uh, reset. I'll shut down. I'll get some sleep there in Ontario, Oregon. And then I'll wake up in the morning and head on over to... Uh, uh, Boardman, Oregon. They open up at 6 a.m. and I'll be at work in. So I just got to get there and show up and then when they can get me unloaded, I'll get unloaded and then I can go pick up my next load and get out of there. I think that's what's happening. Pretty sure. We'll see. <laughs> what you're looking at but that was a truck that lost lost one of its one side of its axle oh both tires the whole dual set was sitting on the side of the road I saw it so I was looking for the vehicle that it came off of and I saw the guy in the yellow jacket walking on the shoulder but he hadn't seen a vehicle yet so I got in the left lane and then I saw his truck and his uh, rear trailer was missing the 
the right side tires and the axle was just sitting on the ground. I could see his skid marks where he, where he had lost lost traction or lost control of that trailer. Gee, that scared him pretty bad. He was walking a little funny too. Like maybe he had a bit of an accident in two places. All right, I got 10 more miles to go and I can see Idaho and Oregon the border from here. You can see Ontario and that whole area. It's coming down the last couple sets of hills. Alright, so I'm here. Here's a guy. What's up? And I'm gonna go drop this trailer off so he can go home. All right, so I got this this load transferred over, swapped out. The trailer looks good. The driver's awesome. He's uh, really eager to go home. He even got chains on his truck and went up over Donner, chaining up and and uh, and he said, "Man, it's just it's just been tough the last the last few days." The, he's been just trying to keep up on his loads or schedule real tight like some of them He can't make his pickups on time and he's just they're just trying to get him home And if I hadn't showed up to uh, with this load He would have ended up having to go to, to Boardman, Oregon and uh, not making it home until uh, So So it's just it's just really good that I showed up with this load even though I'm I'm skipping uh, my chance to get back to the yard and then just go sit around waiting to buy an RV, he gets to go home and see his family. I think that's more important. So I'm so I think it's uh, good that that I'm here. I think so. so. I'm all right with that. I'm I'm doing a good a good thing for somebody, and that's that's a better thing than than my own endeavors. You know, I committed to selflessness, and I think that's a uh, you know, community thing, helping people out putting somebody before yourself it's a, a quality that I see in, in the communities that I hope to build and and so it's really good anyway my day is over I'm gonna climb back here and I guess get some sleep we'll be going to go get something to eat and then then get some rest all right we'll see you later